Hey everybody, Light here and in today's video, we're gonna check out iOS 11.2 on the iPhone SE. So in iOS 11.1, previously there was this bug that changes your iPhone into a black screen when you're booting up. But in iOS 11.2, it's now fixed and your device should boot up a lot faster. Also inside the App Store, previously if you go ahead and hold on the keyword right here, it does nothing. But in iOS 11.2, it would highlight that keyword and search it in the App Store, as you can see. Also, previously in iOS 11.1, there was this bug when you go 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equals to 24. But in 11.2, that bug is now fixed. And now, if you do that, it should equal to 6. And also with iOS 11.2 comes some new icons. So you can see how we have an updated camera icon which looks realistic, this spoon, and also this whiskey. And also there are a lot of them. So if you check out the emojis section right here, just make sure to check them out when you update to 11.2. Also you can see right here how it's slightly rearranged. So for instance here in Animal Nature, you can see it's slightly rearranged. And also, if we go to the camera over here, you can see we have updated icons. So you can see the icons right here from 11.1 and also here on 11.2. So here are the previous icons and here are the new icons. Also, when editing live photos on the iPhone, when you load up the effects, you will see here a different loading animation. So you can see it slightly fades up and showing up the effects. Also, inside Siri, now we get Apple Pay on 11.2. Unlike previously, we don't have Apple Pay available in Siri suggestions. Also inside Control Center, for instance, we got something here playing. As you can see previously on 11.1, we get rounded corners. But now on 11.2, we get less rounded corners over here, which almost looks like a square. And also if we go inside the music application, previously there was this bug in 11.1 that for instance, we got this thing playing and if we open this up, as you can see on 11.1, it doesn't have the shadow effect, but here on 11.2, it has the shadow. But if we pause and play it, that's the only time it would regain back its shadow, as you can see over here. Also over here, if we minimize this again and we scroll down a little bit, as you can see right here on 11.1, there's a small preview of what is behind the now playing area. Unlike now on 11.2, there's really nothing there. Even if we try to scroll down and open it again, as you can see, it's really hiding what is actually behind. And also, previously on iOS 11.1, when you slide up, it would just open that thing. But now you have the option to slightly open it up gently. So you could get this cool animation if you want to open the Now Playing tab gently. Also, in quitting applications, you would see right here that when I quit it, it would fade. Unlike before, it would not fade. Also inside the settings application, if we go in a little bit deeper, you would see right here, for instance, we go here inside assistive touch. And you can see right here, we have different naming. So over here in 11.2, we get accessibility. And like before, it's just only back. And also in some cases, so for instance, we go here in display accommodations, you can see here we got the word back and in previously, it's just a back button. Also inside emergency SOS settings, you can see right here, it's slightly big on 11.1, but now it just fits right on the settings page. And also if you got reduced motion on, on your iPhone and you try to use the control center, as you can see, we don't anymore get that zoom in effect when opening up some of these settings here in control center. That also goes the same, for instance, we are about to go to the widgets page and access the search bar right here. As you can see, we get new animations. So here on 11.2, it fades. And like before in 11.1, it just slides there. Also in 11.2, if you go ahead and slide up to search in the widgets area, it would allow you to search. Unlike before in 11.1, it would not allow you to search. And also inside here, the podcast application, similar to the music application, you have the control to slightly open here the now playing tab. 
and also when you go inside the home application right here so if you go here home you will see here a new set of icons for automation with the apple tv and of course the home pod and also when you try to access control center and for instance you start screen recording your screen when you're done recording and you tap here on the screen recording it will direct you to the video itself so you can play it immediately and also here in control center for instance we got something playing right here as you can see we got an updated toggle right here so now on iOS 11.2 it's slightly smaller and here's a screen recording that I made I put the two versions here in Photoshop and as you can see how iOS 11.1 was bigger and iOS 11.2 is smaller and also that goes the same when you have it on your lock screen as you can see right here this is 11.2 which is actually smaller than 11.1 so here's 11.1 and 11.2 as you can see they updated the toggle to a smaller size for some reason also here if it's your first time to open the messages application you should get a splash screen telling you that you could now use it so this goes by for instance you have here a message open and you can just go here to the apps and click apple pay and you could go ahead and use this feature if it's available in your country and also with that if you open the apple wallet application right here you should get a new section for apple pay cash and also when you open this thing actually and you try to move your iphone as you can see it slightly changes its color which is a nice add-on to the apple wallet application also in 11.2 when you open control center and if it's your first time to actually disable setting you would get this type of message saying like for instance disconnecting bluetooth accessories until tomorrow currently connected accessories will be disconnected and other accessories will not connect bluetooth will continue to be available for apple watch apple pens and personal hotspot and handoff so it's kind of like explaining what's actually happening and also you get this white icon when it's disabled and also that goes the same for Wi-Fi where you get a message disconnecting nearby Wi-Fi until tomorrow. The current Wi-Fi network and other nearby will be disconnected until tomorrow. Wi-Fi will continue to be available for airdrop, personal hotspot, and location accuracy. And also if you go inside settings and you turn on a you turn off a specific setting, that's the only time you get this gray icon. However, if you turn on that setting in control center, it would also reflect on the settings. So here we turn on the Wi-Fi and now if we go inside the settings application, you can see it's now turned on. So here is how it looks like when all the settings are turned off. You can see it's gray and if we turn it on, it's now blue. And if we disable those settings, that's the only time it would turn white. Also aside from having the feature to actually disable a setting here in control center, if you have airplane mode on and you turned off a setting over here that would be automatically reflected inside the settings application as you can see right here so that is it guys for ios 11.2 on the iphone se as always guys thank you for watching and please subscribe for more